guys, welcome back to Maisel Molly. I'm Ash Molly, and today we're gonna to be doing a taste test of Nespresso Virtuos Solio. But before we get into the video, guys, don't forget like, comment, and subscribe down below. Show your girl some love. You guys can also find me over on Instagram at Maisel Molly. I would love to connect with you there. We do a lot of daily coffee content. And if you want to be a part of our Instagram coffee party, you can find me right here. Let's taste test Solio. Now guys, I'm pretty sure I butchered the name. I do not know how to pronounce it. So if you can kindly in the comments down below, if you know how to pronounce it, write it out for me phonetically, that would be great. But this is the capsule that we are trying today. I am quite intrigued to try this one. Um, today is a Sunday and this coffee, it's only an intensity of two, I'd like to say. So I think it's kind of easy breezy and great for a Sunday afternoon. Here is a little bit of what Nespresso has to say about this Virtuo capsule. It says, Silelio is our gentlest start to the day. This day's dawning brings all the juicy acidity and fruitiness that we love in Kenyan and Colombian coffee. It's a light roast with a light body. You can really ease into morning with this Virtuo capsule, right? So this one's meant for the mornings. Again, I think this would be great for a Sunday afternoon or a Sunday morning. This isn't something though that I would probably have on a weekday as I have a really busy work schedule and I just don't think that an intensity of two would get me through. Some more about this capsule, of course, it is a 7.7 .7 ounce, so it is a full coffee size. The aromatic profile is fruity and light bodied, while the aromatic notes is citrus and cereal. So I'm kind of feeling like I'll already love this one since it's citrus and cereal. We all know cereal notes, Bianca Leggero, Malazio, those are two of my favorite pods. And this one is cereal as well. Let's go ahead and open up the box and see what we think. So we pop it open just like that and wow, it's a beautiful capsule. It's one of the things that I love the most about Nespresso, their packaging and then just the color of the capsule. So this is what it looks like. It's a beautiful golden thing. That is the scenery of my house. Really, really beautiful pot. As I mentioned, it's a 7.7 .7 ounce. But without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and brew this one on up and see what we think. Alrighty friends, so it seems we're all brewed and ready to go. Let's go ahead and give this one a sniff test, right? Let's smell it and see what it smells like. Hmm, you can definitely smell the fruitiness of it. I like the way that it smells. I'm not getting biscuit, but definitely fruit. I really want to taste this one. Let's uh, let's go ahead. Ugh, it's hot. I'm gonna taste the crema off the top. It's a little sour. I'm gonna fold the crema back into the coffee, so that kind of like equally um, distributes the oils of the coffee, puts it back into the coffee from the crema, and then I'm gonna taste the coffee. It's intensity of two, so it should not be strong. You can kind of see anyway by the color of the roast. It's not too dark at all. Ooh, that's very light. It's very light. Let's try it again. Some noise outside my window. It's very light. Again, for me, it definitely wouldn't be strong enough for my everyday coffee, but I can definitely see me having this one on a Sunday. So far, I'm liking it. 
I think for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy it with my Milk Street Sugar. I have the sugar, it's from Milk Street. It's their Burnt Sugar Orange Spice Coffee Sugar. It's orange, vanilla, and cinnamon. So I actually think this is gonna pair back beautifully to this coffee. Why? Because the coffee, it's um, yellow fruit, it's biscuity, and I think that the vanilla and the yellow fruit of the sugar is gonna pair wonderfully back to this. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and froth some half and half in my arachino. I'm gonna add some sugar into this, and then we're gonna enjoy a hot coffee beverage. We'll start by foaming my half and half. Today I am using A2. A2 actually just launched a new half and half that I'm really liking. Um, we're gonna pour a little bit, so tight. My husband probably did this because he doesn't want it to spill. <laughs> we're gonna pour a little bit into my arachino. There we go, halfway to the lower line. That should be enough. And we're gonna foam it on hot. While that is foaming, I'm gonna go ahead and add some sugar to my coffee. Hold on. We did one and a half of the Milk Street sugar. I bet this is gonna be great without even creamer added, just with the sugar. Oh yeah, that's really nice. You have the flavors of the mandarin coming through. And then we're gonna go ahead and top it off with some half and half. Look at that. Woo. You guys can see how with the milk added in, it turns into an extra light blend. Um, let's try it out and see what we think with the Milk Street Sugar and A2 half and half. Wow, okay. So guys, now I'm tasting the biscuit notes. Um, I think that the milk definitely brings out the biscuity notes of the pod. It's so creamy, so creamy. I'm gonna go ahead and add just one more half teaspoon of the Milk Street sugar. Yeah, let's try this. This is really delish. I can also see this combo being um, iced just because it's really light, very creamy, very biscuity. I like it. And I agree. Oh, and then the orange notes that are coming through, really good. Um, I stick to what I've said. This is not something that I would have on a weekday. It's just not strong enough for me. Like I need my weekday coffee to give me a really good kick and wake up but this is lovely if you're off on the weekends for your days off you just want to sip on it on a sunday morning or make it iced on a sunday afternoon i really do like this pod um drop it in the comments down below guys let me know have you tried this capsule before and if you have how do you like to make it don't forget guys, if you found added value in this video, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, turn on your notification bell so that you can enjoy more coffee videos from my channel. Also over on Instagram, whipping up recipes every day. I'd love to catch you there as well. As always friends, thank you for hanging out with me on Maison Molly and I'll see you guys next time.